everyone, it's Dr. Andy from Open Space Healing and today we're going to be talking about something that is relevant for a lot of you out there. We're going to be talking about how you don't actually need to stretch to help improve the flexibility of your body. We're going to talk about how and, and why that is. From working with thousands of clients over a decade, we know that the vast majority of our adult population um, suffers with some type of loss of flexibility. And this is a massive problem in our current society because loss of flexibility has been coined the, the new smoking. So a sedentary life will increase your chances of cardiovascular disease, um, type 2 diabetes, and reduced lifespan. I'd like to invite you just to think about your day for a minute. Uh, the majority of most people's day is spent sitting. So you wake up, you sit to eat breakfast, you sit to drive in the car to work, you sit at work, you sit to eat lunch, you sit to drive home, you sit to eat dinner, and then you sit to relax. So there's no wonder that uh, a lot of us are suffering from a loss of flexibility. In addition to all of these other problems are the musculoskeletal problems such as decreased um, joint health and degeneration of the joints, also a lack of circulation, a loss of muscle strength and increased muscle fatigue. Yes, you heard right, uh, lack of flexibility will lead to loss of strength. So really strength training and flexibility training should go hand in hand. Why doesn't stretching work? All of you would have an example of where you may have been stretching a muscle every day repeatedly and not really notice so much improvement. It's like that muscle doesn't actually um, lengthen um, over the time of, of you doing all the stretching. And there's a really good reason why. Quite often, the reason that your muscle will not elongate with a stretching regime is because the problem and the source of the problem isn't actually that muscle. At Open Space, we know that a lot of dysfunction in the body can be traced back to the spine. And so purely by improving the flexibility of your spine, you can help to um, alleviate some of the lack of flexibility throughout the rest of your body. Without further ado, Let's get on with the exercises that we prescribe quite a lot in our practice at Open Space Healing to a lot of our clients to help unlock their flexibility. For maximum impact to get the most out of these exercises, we recommend that you do them with a powerful breath. So I will go over um, when you should be inhaling and when you should be exhaling throughout each exercise. Also, close your eyes and tune into your body. So feel where your comfort level is, where you're feeling tight, and really breathe into those areas in your body. And as your body starts to warm up, then you'll feel the, the spine loosen. So if any of the exercises are painful or uncomfortable, then obviously just be gentle with yourself and only go to your, your comfort level. We like to do these exercises first thing in the morning. All of the exercises are best to be done for a couple of minutes each. However, you can shorten or lengthen that time depending on how you're feeling. So the first exercise are circles or what we call in the yogic world, Sufi grinds. And essentially you want to pretend that you have a pencil hanging down from your tailbone and you're drawing circles. Right? and you'll go in one direction for a couple of minutes and then reverse in the opposite direction. For the Sufi grinds, holding onto either like your um, shins or your knees and keeping a nice straight spine, elongating the back of the neck and keeping your chin parallel with the ground facing forward. So to, to demonstrate this exercise, you inhale as you bring your chest forward and then exhale as you rock back. So inhale forward and exhale back. And you'll be able to feel the low back and the base of the spine starting to warm up and really get into those, those tight areas. So inhale, exhale. And then when you 
have finished a couple of minutes, then do the opposite direction. So for exercise number two, we're going to be doing some spinal flexors um, or camel right. So we're sitting in rock pose, which is uh, where you have your knees bent and your heels touching the bottom bones. If you have any knee problems, then you can use a pillow and place that between the feet and the, the bottom. Um, or if you really can't do this, then that's absolutely fine. You can do it sitting or in a chair. So with this movement, hands on the knees, and really the movement is coming from the low back. So inhaling forward and then exhaling as you round back. So inhale forward, exhale back. And again, you want to face forward, chin parallel with the ground and really breathe powerfully into the areas that feel tight. The third exercise is a spinal twist or what we affectionately um, coin here as the washing machine. So with a straight spine, fingers at the front of the shoulders, thumbs at the back and arms parallel with the ground. And as you twist to the left, inhaling, and as you twist to the right exhaling and really let your spine move freely and rotate your head with the with the um, rotation. So and you can speed up or slow down the movement um, as you're feeling into your body and your comfort level. The fourth exercise is a spinal flex. However, we're moving up the spine into the thoracic area. And so we're going to be sitting with cross legs or in the chair, hands on our knees and inhaling as we bring our chest forward and exhaling as we round back. And again, keeping the chin parallel with the floor, facing forward and elongating the back of the neck. As we move further up the spine, we're getting into our neck and shoulders. So the fifth exercise are shoulder shrugs. So hands on the knees and as you shrug your shoulders towards your ears, inhaling, and then as you drop down, powerfully exhaling. And again, keeping a really straight spine. The sixth exercise, uh, neck rolls. So be really gentle with yourself with neck rolls. If you have any neck problems or pain or discomfort, then obviously don't go into that pain just to your comfort level. And essentially, as you tilt your chin down to your chest, you're exhaling, and then as you bring your head back, you're inhaling. And if you find any areas that are tight, then just stop in that space and breathe into the, the neck and that area and slowly then move on through the exercise. So I'll demonstrate that now. At Open Space, we like to think that you are only as old as the flexibility in your spine and keeping your flexibility up in your spine will help you live a long and more youthful life. Obviously, there's no scientific studies to actually prove this. However, we like to think that it's true. Let us know how you go with these exercises. And if you have any questions, please um, shoot us a comment below. Um, if you think that any of your friends or family would benefit from these exercises, then please share the love with them. And yeah, we look forward to hearing from you soon. Dr. Annie from Open Space Healing, bye for now.